Hello, my name is Evan, and today I will explain where drum heads come from. To begin the process, raw aluminium is bent and formed to the will of the machines. Once formed, the hoop is spun into any variety of radiuses. A human operator then fixes the hoop in place, at which point it is expertly soldered by my good friend, Solderbot 5K. The hoops are then gathered and hung, where they await their ultimate purpose. The film is then cut around its diameter, held in place by a vacuum table. This allows for a bond to form between the two plies, something that in an uncontrolled setting can take months of delicate interpersonal exchanges and awkward small talk. The film is then dropped into what is essentially a spinning hole punch, where it is precisely penetrated to allow glue to permeate, further encouraging this inseparable bond. Under tremendous pressure and heat, the film is molded in preparation of its fitting to the hoop, which has, until now, been patiently lying in wait. This provides the basis for our level 360 technology. At long last, the hoop and the film are brought together by hand. Soon, they will be placed onto the gluing plate, whereupon they will be bound, forevermore. For heads that are to be coated, a conveyor belt ushers them into the spray booth. Once inside the booth, the heads will spin in delightful anticipation. This display of mirth produces a welcome side effect, in that it ensures a consistent and even coating. Our UV heads face a different fate. They march with an admirable stoicism into the strengthening glow of the UV light. Of course, without identifying markings, all of this pomp and circumstance is for naught. As such, our heads are proudly stamped with the Evans logo. Heads that feature sound shaping technology are passed under what is essentially an inkjet printer with an IQ incomprehensible to the human mind. Once finished, each Evans drumhead is packed in its Sunday best, given a bespoke label, and sent to every corner of the globe to be mercilessly thrashed by drummers of all persuasions. Thankfully, they can withstand such abuse with grace and dignity.